Yeah, there's nowhere else in the world I could be then. It's 2014 SHOT Show in Las Vegas. Just had a calculate and um, asking the organisers here if I manage to walk every corridor, every alleyway we've got, it's without diverting to the stands, how far do I need to go to see everything? And they said, we worked it out, sir, it's 12 miles. So that's just for going around once, that's without going back to see anything. So um, if I've got 12 miles to do, to bring you stuff that uh, I think will interest you and certainly will interest me, I better crack on with it. I hope you enjoy it. I know I'm going to. Here you go then, look at this. This is the brand spanking new unit from Nightsight. This is the Viper. More or less air gun dedicated for us. Goes out to about 100 yards, which is what you want even with FAC air. It's got the same see in the dark technology up front there. More streamlined unit. Everything you need, nothing you don't. It's going to be about 450 retail, but have a look at this little unit on the back here. This is the battery pack. Okay. That will run it for four hours solid. That means when it's used sort of on and off as you use it, that'll go all night. Four hours out of that thing. And that's four hours continual use. Good looking unit, more streamlined than the uh, NS50. 450 retail we're reckoning. Already got a unit booked for test. Can't wait to try it out. Nights are really moving stuff, they really are. Always glad to see us, always got something to tell us. Look out for the review on this one. You come to the SHOT Show and you're inspired. That's a gimme. Normally about guns and gadgets and stuff like that. But this is inspiration on a whole different level. This is giving people a different life. It's an incredible thing. This is the Action Track Stander. This is one of two models this company does. And it gets disabled folks to places they can never go. It was inspired by uh, the guys who invented it, had a disabled son and a nephew. And he's, he's made this thing that is quite simply liberating. It's a wonderful thing to see. It's run by two deep cycle batteries, gives it six hours at least full on life, access to a 40 degree slopes, depending on the what's underfoot, if you like. And it's, it's got joystick controls, power stand so that gets the, the controller into a standing position which is far healthier than just being sitting all the time. The batteries are pitched in low so it increases the, the stability of the whole unit. It's absolutely fantastic. This gives people life and it really is absolutely inspiring to see it. it costs $15,000 which is about 10 grand in our money and seeing as people pay twice that for a shotgun to, uh, to pay that for a, a whole different life has got to be good value. What a fantastic thing. There is a U, uh, UK agent as far as I'm told um, and there's a website address that you can go on but what a wonderful piece of piece of kit. We've seen them trundled around the hall and they really do do a job and they get disabled people to places that they might never otherwise see. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Here's one of the most impressive things on what is an extremely impressive crossman stand. This is the Benjamin Trail. Now, we're talking about the Nitro Piston 2. We've already seen that. Now they're using it in these things. But the effect of it on these new generation trails is incredible. We get a lot of demo guns in the office with no internals in them, just so we can check out the styling and see how they fit and what, how the ergonomics work. When I picked this up, I thought that's what it was. I thought it can't possibly have an action inside it, but it does. It's incredibly light. I'm guessing it's somewhere around five and a half pounds, even with a scope. It certainly doesn't feel any more than six. This will get up to 26 foot pounds at its full power incarnation, and they're going to be scaled down for the 11 plus for the UK market coming in in the summer. It really is, with that, with that new, new Nitro piston, it's smoother, lighter. It's going to be really interesting to see what it does for the recoil because it is so light. But for carrying it all day, well, this is what a lot of people would be looking for. You'll be amazed when you pick one of these things up. It does genuinely feel as though it's just sort of an empty action. But it isn't. It's all there and it's ready to go. So, come the summer, we'll be seeing them across the pond. Here's a concept you're going to want to know about. With a bit of luck, it'll be over with us about the summer. Nitro Piston 2, this is the next stage of the Nitro Piston, and they really have developed it. You watch when it comes on. Here we go. This will show you what it's all about. Basically, what it does is it's all about increased efficiency. Okay? 
they've got a piston here that is smoother develops more power it's gas filled same thing but it runs on bearings it's a larger volume they've got a greater power potential so when it gets reduced for the uk market it'll be smoother and easier to cop this is a serious unit that is a precision piece of kit that well done crossman you can't knock them they do put so much effort in they really do and they got tremendous tremendous r d this is how it works look all sorts of interesting components see fairly straightforward larger sweat volume inside i think they've even reduced the weight of the whole unit but we'll see it in the summer I'm promised a test way before then, just to I get to add my two penneth to it, and uh, at the moment looking really good. Right, you know I don't only bring you air guns here. I'm on the Parazzi stand now. This is uh, for the shotgunner who wants everything. Set of four game guns there for you. Look, extra grey, 12, 20, 28, and 410 gauge, or bore as we say. And the base price is 352,300 dollars. So, uh, do we have four shotguns, or do we have a house? If you can afford it, I guess that sort of question doesn't really matter. But if ever you think air guns are getting too expensive, cast your eye on that little lot there. There you go. $352,300 base price. That's before you have anything flash done, obviously. Nice. I'm on the Stoga stand, and uh, I'd like to show you one of the best-selling air guns in the UK. There it is, look, the Stoga suppressor. Synthetic stock, comes with a silencer, spring piston power, delivered with a scope, normally a 3 to 9, actually, in the UK. But nothing outrageously technical about it. It's just sturdy, it does the job, it's full power, stands up to the rigours of hunting use, and people love them. They're obviously affordable. They're not sort of big old designer air gun. They're just what captivated us all those years ago. Sturdy rifle that does what you want it to do. Stoga suppressor. They're selling hand over fist in the UK. And you can see why. You know, every year I bring you some of the uh, wild and wacky vehicles and the sort of stuff I'd like to own. Well, this is this year's entrant. Look at this, look. Browning 50 caliber machine gun on the top. So I'd, obviously I'd have to change that for something a little bit more air gun centric, you know. But you sort of stand in the back there and you get propelled around the fields with all manner of ludicrously powerful lights, infrared and stuff like that. Obviously your driver's got to be kitted out like some Android with uh, full night vision kit on. So uh, you got, got one guy's got the steering wheel there, and this guy's got the remote for the um, for the machine gun, I guess. I don't know what. It, I, truth to tell, I haven't got a clue what's going on here, but it just looks the business, doesn't it? Look at it. It's going to go everywhere. This it's going to go absolutely everywhere. And, uh, it's a wonderful thing. Um, I don't think the guy that was manning the stand got the irony much when I said to him, uh, "Do you do an off-road version of this?" And he didn't. Uh, he, he thought I was being literal. I was obviously being an Englishman taking the mic, but uh, he didn't quite get that, but that's uh, a wonderful bit of kit, look at it, look at that, imagine trundling about your shoot in this thing, that's your serious hunter there, and obviously it's a military thing, but um, just a desirable piece of kit of which there is literally hundreds of tons of it out here. Yet again, absolutely nothing to do with air guns, but you've got to see this, look. This is the Macmillan TAC-50 A1R2 military sniping rifle. It's got a, like a gas ram um, recoil absorber thingy on it. Look at that bolt system. Look at that. And the extraction curves there. Oh, wow. That is just an inspiring thing to look at. Bipod on the front. What a tool. Macmillan do make a sexy looking knife. 50 caliber, I believe. Saying that like I really know what it's all about. And got a night four scope on it, that I do know. But uh, gorgeous thing to look at. Here's something for any sort of go-ahead air gun club look. This is a range. You buy the whole range here, a moving target system, it sort of shuttles it backwards and forwards. 
down the range, they'll sell you the whole lot, all electronically recorded. I'm sure there are many air gun clubs in the country, got a couple of million dollars to spare, and uh, this lot will set you up overnight, pretty much. Yeah. Must get one for the garden. After a hard day's hunting, what better could you have than to slip in a lovely, lovely pair of camo slippers? Look, his and hers. Elegance and comfort. You can't beat it. Okay, so I found a lawnmower then. But this is America, chaps. Uh, this ain't just any ordinary lawnmower. For a start, this lawnmower's got a, uh, it's got a tow-in facility on the front there. It's got a winch look. Now, all you guys who've got powered lawnmowers without winches, you must feel pretty inadequate right now. But have you also got a gun case mounting system on your lawnmower? Which I'm, uh, I'm sure you found absolutely invaluable. So while you're cruising around, sort of mowing your 250-acre lawn, and you happen to see a deer or something, or a few rabbits, you're going to want to know how to take care of them. And if there you go, you drop yourself in a ditch or a ravine. Look, there's, there's your your towing facility to get yourself out. But it is genuinely a lawnmower. It's got all the uh, adjustable cutting height and all the rest of it. But um, there's a gun rack on the side. Look, and there's another one in the back. So in case one gun isn't enough on your lawnmower. This one lets you have two. There you go. The Raven, absolute raving nutter, lawnmower. Here's one for our technical editor, Phil Price. Phil loves his pistols. He also loves his race guns and his tuned pistols. Now, obviously, this is live ammo. Volk Alderson, custom. But this would go well with, uh, with the sort of pistol shooting disciplines we've got in, in our country. Look, carbon fiber shrouds and compensators. Some of them are just fairly plain, but still classic looking. Others are semi-anatomical, sort of fluted barrel, built for speed. All of them have got something about them that is extremely attractive. These are grippy and you want to hold them and pick them up and play with them. These are pretty looking guns, aren't they? Look at that. No reason why these can't be adapted for air gun shooting designs. This one is uh, my favourite because it looks all sorts of deliberate and considered, but they are good looking guns and uh, attracting a lot of attention over here. And there's loads of models. Yep, I'm no great pistol shooter and I can see the attraction. Decoys are getting more and more realistic. Again, this, aren't, this isn't an air gun quarry, but you just have to appreciate the craftsmanship. These things look like they'll peck you. And they're just sort of thrown out there and, uh, well, they're not actually, they're, they take a lot of time over their decoy, decoy patterns. And here's what I want to show you. Under these reed blinds here, you get sort of a sleeping bag effect thing. And here's your hunters lying here. And this is how they hunt. They will lie there until the, the geese are settling and they sit up and they got the shotguns and they blaze away. And they go back down and wait for the next lot. And, uh, under there, this is like a, it is like a sleeping bag, but it's a bit more comfortable than that. Uh, it's like a framework system. It's almost like a sort of lie-down hide. And I just wonder if that would work for rabbits. I bet it would. Just lie there having a bit of a relax and watch the sky and then uh, sit up, drop a couple, sit back down again. It's a whole new world out here. And a fine one. As ever, Nikon have got a fairly subdued presence here. Look at this, look. This is sort of Nikon mansions. Everything Nikon over here. Massive stand. Very, very impressive products. Dozens of rifle scopes. All sorts of disciplines. Some are in camo, some are in standard finishes. Then you've got the binoculars, telescopes, all housed within this monstrous, great wooden building that gets put up and taken down for every show seems to get a bit bigger most years yeah very impressive there you go if you watch sky sons of guns this is red jacket firearms this is where they are so will and the boys do their stuff we had a good old chat to them just now they are uh, passionate shooters as you know passionate campaigners for the shooting rights Seemed right to us. Very nice to us. Red Jacket Firearms here at the SHOT Show.
Like you, I'm a lover of pretty guns. This is a pretty gun. Live ammo, obviously not here, but look how simple that is. A little bit of real tree on it. Lever action, just lovely. There's a stainless version. Isn't that pretty? Here we go, we're on the uh, Boomerang stand. This is the PPS 177BB CO2 blowback. Now look, no big knobby screw at the bottom there. That pulls out, just drop that out. There's your magazine, spring fed. Look at this, this is very clever. That becomes the tool that releases the CO2 capsule. You see, how clever is that? So it's never, you never lose it. It's always there, nice and smooth, compact, great fun. What a brilliant little piece of kit. Yeah, what a brilliant idea. Look, you hit the target, knock it over, and it resets itself. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. You've always got something to shoot at. It's fairly heavy gauge, this. It's probably taken FAC 2.2, but it was made lighter. It's a brilliant little idea. Self-resetting targets, fun for all the family. Here's another remarkable vehicle, the King Off-Roader, sponsored by Magpul. Usual array of illumination up the front there. Fantastic big flared arches. Massive wheels. Look at that. What well, is a good looking vehicle though? It really is. You've got the spares and stuff in the back, but when you take a look at it, stand back and have a look at it, you, you get the full impression. Lovely looking thing, it's surrounded by people. Hard to get through, I'll have a go. But look at the lines on it. Look down there. It's got a sort of a matte camo finish to it. Roll bars inside, hugely strong. Not as heavy as it as it looks actually. But uh, it's got a suspension system on it that's probably cost more than most people's cars. Look at, look at the ventilation at the back there, just two huge fans there. Wow. Well, look at this. Yeah, she's a quarter of a million dollars worth. And then some, I think. Reasonable suspension system, look. Lovely, lovely, lovely looking. Another one for the bucket list. A clue. Not a clue what's going on there, but there you are, it's quite relaxing to watch him run. Yeah, I'm sure he's happy. Bush now is a mega supplier, absolutely mega supplier over here. But here we're going for something different. This is the Equinox Digital Night Vision range, and this one's got a zoom on it as well. Powered by standard AA batteries. There's three models in the range and they're gonna be affordable right from the bottom to the top. They're gonna to start at about somewhere around 200, go up to somewhere near four. Prices haven't been confirmed yet, but the features have. This thing will record video. It'll do stills image capture look, as you can see down here. Daytime viewing is in color. 750 foot distance for the infrared illuminator on this one. It's got a zoom facility. This is designed to take on the entry level stuff available from other suppliers and it's going to do it because it's got the Bushnell quality to it. As I say, three in the range, all of them affordable, they just go up in spec a little bit more. This one's three by 30, so it'll be three to nine times. You see higher spec on the viewing distance, but all the other features, the image capture, video recording, the whole lot. Bushnell are really serious about going at every level in this market and I think with these three things, they're going to do it. Look out for another test very soon. Go for it, sir. Here we go. We've met our old friend Deep Rivers again. This boy is the absolute real deal. Doesn't just throw him around. This man can shoot as well. Believe me, he can. Third generation cowboy. Knows how to do it. Knows how to look good doing it. He's a friend of the show and we love him. Coolest man in Las Vegas, this. Thanks very much, D. Good luck, mate. Cheers. We're on the Coldwell stand, and I've got something here that's going to absolutely take the chronograph market apart, I think. What this is, is the Ballistic Precision Chronograph. It's extremely affordable. I won't go into price details at the moment, but believe me, this is probably going to be cheaper than any comparable unit there is out there. It's got the sky screen system, okay? It's got all the whistles and bells, but here's the kick. You get an iPhone app, and it downloads the data straight to your phone. So then you can email it to yourself, put it on a spreadsheet, do what you like with it. So 
all the data from this, and this could be used downrange as well as at uh, point blank, it all goes onto your phone for later processing. And it's extremely affordable, believe me. Edgar Brothers are going to be distributing it, and we've already got one lined up for test. How about this? This is a new take on the shooting seat system. This one gives you tremendous access, very lightweight, total total support, tips, swivels, look, comes around there, you've got the chair spins, everything really carryable. This is another great product that's coming in via Edgar Brothers, and it will be coming in, so uh, another thing to look out for. This is impressive, very impressive piece of kit. That could go in any little blind or hide, and it really is quite light to carry. It's got its own back strap there, and it's got a complete system look with the with the uh, ammo pouch there, slides foot backwards and forwards on rails, solid as a rock. It's also stabilised by your own body weight. Um, excellent, absolutely excellent. Well done. We'll be looking forward to seeing that one. I'm on the gamo stand, and I'd just like to show you something that's become a phenomenon over here. And this is the gamo fusion in various forms. IGT system, inert gas technology, so gas ram, but synthetic stock, brake barrel, it's got a bit of a silencer on it, quite a lot of a silencer on it, but out here, these things sell by the truckload, and they have become extremely popular, and as these become popular, of course air gunning becomes popular, and as these grow in sophistication, so does our sport. This is Gamo doing what it's done ever since it was brought into being, but it's doing it in a more serious way these days. And of course, at the back of them here, we've got our own BSA range. These are flying the flag out here for us and doing extremely well as well. One or two US adaptations doing really well over here. Things are really looking up, they honestly are. Air guns are repairing more and more in the media, and more and more hunters are discovering that you can use them where you can use no other gun. Yeah, long may it continue. You can never come to the SHOT Show without doing the real tree stand, and uh, they got a really new exciting announcement to make. They've got Max 5 coming out. Now, here we are. Here's the Duck Dynasty boys that have signed up to it. But this pattern, to my way of thinking, is the best pattern for air gunners ever made. I like the Max 4, but this one has got sort of bigger lumps in it, if you like. It imitates our straw, so if we're hunting barn, in barns or hunting pigeons. But also the headlands where we do most of our hunting, like the, the headlands around the edges of the fields, not it through woods and things like that. This is the best, in my opinion, the best all-round pattern there is. It's going to be really interesting to see how far it goes. Anyway, I'm going to carry on walking around. I'll just show you that over the road there, that's Buck Commander, which is the Duck Dynasty Duck Commander brand as well. And yesterday the Duck Dynasty guys were in and the place was mobbed. You couldn't get near them, but um, I got the thumbs up and uh, got a couple of photos. Most enjoyable. Anyway, look out for that Max 5. Max 5. Just remember the name. You're going to be using it. Regular readers will have seen me wearing uh, the Grubs tree line boot. This is my boot of choice these days. Absolutely fantastic. It's a, it's a posh welly, but it's one you can walk in because it's got a proper sole on it. It's got proper sort of foot technology, if you like, and it gives you, uh, gives you support. So it doesn't just keep your feet dry. It grips your, your leg. It doesn't slop about. These are my favourite wellies. Well, the good news is, there's a new boot coming in. We're going to get this in the UK. It's called the Ptarmigan. Fully waterproof, short ankle boot. But again, this is something you can walk for miles in. No matter what the terrain, this thing will keep your feet warm, dry, and it'll keep you supported. Now, as soon as these are available, we've booked a test for them. But look out for them. You can't miss the name. The name's Grubs. Top footwear. Stuff I'll be genuinely be wearing myself, and we'll be giving it short-term and long-term tests in the magazine. Look out for it. We're on the Hawk stand with Brad Bonner now, and he's going to explain to us about a new scope coming to the UK via Deben. Over to you, Brad. Good afternoon, everybody. Brad Bonner from Hawk Optics, the SHOT Show in 2014. What I'm holding in my hand here is uh, one of the new Endurance 30s that we will be introducing very soon. This is actually going to be taking place of the Eclipse 30 side focuses that you folks are all used to. 
Um, very nice new cosmetics. They come with very high quality aluminum flip caps, front and back. New side wheel that actually can be removed. Very nice and smooth operation. Lovely low profile turrets. And we've actually changed the illumination package to where it is not a step switch anymore. It is a rheostat control. So it is infinitely adjustable. There will be three different reticle choices. The one that's most interesting to the air gunning world is going to be the 10X mil dot reticle as was in the Eclipse 30s previously. Soon to be available, likely March or April 2014. Well done, Brad. Thanks, mate. They'll be going for these. They certainly will. This is a dedicated air gun scope for us, and uh, we'll be looking out for it. Thanks for that, and good luck, mate. Very good. My pleasure. Thanks, Terry. Actually, got, right, we're on the simulator here, look. We're bl um, Dan apparently is blowing away anything that stands up. You're not supposed to shoot everything, Dan. You know, we're, you, you, there are people there you're not supposed to shoot. What this is, is a range simulator. They can dial in any scenario you like, from a, a battlefield to a flat open range to, to this sort of uh, backwards village type deal. And uh, they can even dial in the environment of the, with the wind, haze, rain, anything you like. They keep them waiting. And no, you can't shoot him. Wow. And all the time, the results are being tracked the aim points are being tracked on this screen and about three seconds before they pull the trigger the trace turns red so they can see how efficient their aim is and how they, they traverse each rifle they've got the timings on them as well they're using um, genuine adapted Heckler & Koch machine guns or or single shot rifles semi autos they've just executed the gentleman there I think a bit of summary justice went on there I think but they, they can also now see somebody going along, sort of moving through the range as well. Everything's analysed. This is a military trainer, and it's designed so that troops can shoot side by side in different countries even. If a regiment's in Kuwait or Katrick or wherever it is, they can train on one of these things in real time together. It's an absolutely incredible scenario. It really is. Very exciting. I can see Dan's getting, um, he's getting fairly tense now as, he, uh, as they move through. Now, somebody's going to come out of here. There we go. Really could fancy a go at this. Really could. Yeah. See the fun here? One of the perks of the job, but keep them coming. Here we are. End of the final day. We walk miles and miles of corridors. We're absolutely knackered. The air conditioning in here gives you a permanently sore throat. And the amazing things you see gives you a sort of a technical headache but it's fantastic the support for shooting the love of it the people you meet who are absolutely as passionate as you are about it it's a wonderful refresher course keeps your enthusiasm going makes you know you're doing the right thing fantastic sport fantastic place shot show 2014 loved it finished it and now you've seen it too. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next year.